Hey guys, I'm GS Fear, and in this video, I'm going to show you this amazing widget to show for when you're on like your Be Right Back screen or you're just starting soon screen. That's actually going to show, let me show you real quick, WTP, and then your viewers can actually see what the Pokemon is and actually guess on it. So what you're going to have to do to get started is go to twitch.guru. Now, once you get here, you're going to come to the free tools, unless you're subscribed to Tenacious W on the Twitch channel. I personally have a subscribed VIP lifetime with this website and um, Tenacious W. So I get all of his subscriber tools free. It's very, very worth the $5 a month that uh, he charges for all this stuff. But anyway, let's go to the free tools. Who's that Pokemon Gen 1? And let's be honest. Gen 1 Pokemon is by far the best generation. Fight me. So what you're going to do, who's that Pokemon free version? Free version limits first generation Pokemon only. Add the interactive Pokemon game to your stream, just like the one from the TV series. The command exclamation WTP will start the game and show a random Pokemon silhouette. And the viewers have to try and guess who the Pokemon is by typing the name in chat. Uh, with over 800 Pokemon, this will keep your audience engaged for hours. Of course, with the free tool, it's only going to be like, what, 150, 151, something like that. Uh, default commands, blah, 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 are for the mod slash broadcaster, and they are as followed. WTP, give up, skip WTP, reset, change generation number. So all you got to do is uh, you type in your channel. So GSphere is mine. Be sure to go over to Twitch and follow my channel, twitch.tv slash GSphere. Who can guess you can change it to the vip subs vip and subs or just all personally i would say all i don't want to ever limit the interaction to uh vips or subs it's just kind of lame to me but it's really nice that there's an option there anyway auto start new round true or false so this is basically going to keep going until you turn this off time to show the winner 5000 milliseconds Mute sound, who's that Pokemon? Have it on false. Now Pokemon generation with the free version, you only get the first one, which is okay. Play Pokemon cry sound. I would personally say turn this off to false cause it is loud as hail. Okay. Style options, Pokemon art style. You can have the dream. You can have animated, you can have the original or you can even have home. So I have mine animated just because I think that's really, really awesome. Silhouette color, you can have white, you can have yellow, pink, orange, whatever you want. I'm just going to stay true to the original. So black, show text title, true or false. And then once you get down here, you're actually going to take the browser source address. You are then going to copy this address, take it into your OBS, add a browser source, browser, Pokemans. The post the URL in here. The width is recommended 1920 by 1080. Now, this is very important. Otherwise, it's going to be super, super loud. So go to control audio via OBS. You can then do that. Hit OK. And then I'm going to go all the way down here to the very bottom and then kind of like turn this down and just kind of, you know, kind of test the waters. Exclamation WTP. Who's that Pokemon? So it's a little bit too loud, but as you see, it works. I do have mine to where I changed it to monitor only. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit again. I am then going to uh, refresh the cache just so I know. And then do it again. Who's that Pokemon? So that is the perfect volume for me. I don't want it too loud. So after that, that's all you got to do. People will then vote on it. So then, or just kind of guess it, D-I-T-T-O, ditto. Well done, you was right. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If it did help you, please consider hitting that subscribe button, the notification, ding, ding. And don't forget to leave that like and just comment saying, hey, this is a really, really cool tool and I'd love to see more. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.